Greetings, internet people. Um, <clears throat> it's something like 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday, April 10th, and I've spent the whole day uh, kind of uh, thinking about and reading about this black hole picture from the Event Horizon Telescope, and and it's just really cool. Um, and I want to just talk a little bit about it, uh, just for a couple minutes. So. I was just talking to some radio people about it, and um, they asked me like, "What's what's new or different about this? Like, what what's exciting about this picture?" And it's not that like now we know black holes are real. We've known black holes are real for a very long time. Um, we've had extremely good evidence of the reality of black holes. Uh, through a number of means. Um, we've seen stars whipping around them really fast. Uh, there are a lot of black holes out there that have uh, disks of material whirling in, like whirlpools of material where the matter is falling into the black hole and it heats up and it's, it lights up and it's this plasma and we can see these really, really bright um, uh, objects. So we see something really, really bright and really, really small, uh, far away and there's just no way anything other than a black hole can be doing that. But, um, but with those, like you don't always know because you, you can, all you see is a point of light. So, you know, in theory, maybe you could come up with some way of making like a really bright star or something like that that could have stuff falling onto it, but uh, not be a black hole. Like theoretically, based on what we know of gravity, that doesn't work. But who knows? Like strange things could happen, right? So, so that. That was really good evidence that black holes are real, but that wasn't that wasn't like the slam dunk. But then the LIGO instrument, the Laser Interferometer, Laser Interferometry Gravitational Wave Observatory, um, saw a whole bunch of black holes spiraling into each other and um, merging and creating new black holes, like bigger black holes, um, through the the way that they created like ripples in space-time, the, the gravitational waves, and and that was was pretty darn good evidence because, you know, we actually saw the effect on space-time of these two objects coming together and and the the resulting object like kind of wobbling a little as it as it settled and we saw how much energy was really released and we saw how massive these things were and like they had to be black holes like there's nothing else that can do that. So we were pretty sure black holes existed. That's, that's not why this is exciting. The, the thing that's different about this is we're seeing, um, we're seeing it in a really different way. So generally speaking, what we see when we look at black holes in the universe and we see them all over the place, we just see the bright glow of the stuff that's falling into them. And we see it as a point of light because black holes are really small. They're, they're defined by putting a whole lot of matter into a very small space. That's what makes it a black hole. And so generally speaking, all we can see is like that there's a really bright light because there's all this hot matter and it's you know falling into something, but we, we can't see what it's going into or anything. All we just see is, is bright light. And in this case, we can see we can see so well that inner region that, that we see not just the matter that's falling in, we see where it, where it's, the light from it starts to disappear. So we, what we're seeing when we look at that black hole image is this ring of light, and that's, that's the disk of matter that's falling into the black hole. That's the, the, it's called an accretion disk. We see that matter glowing because it's it's just it's heating up because it's in this whirlpool um you know falling into this thing so we see it glowing and if it were if it were falling onto a star or something like that if it were hitting you know if it were pulled in by the gravity of a massive object and then like slamming onto it it would be bright the whole thing would be bright it would just be a really bright blur or something like that like the center would be bright but the center is not bright the center is dark because there's something there that is swallowing up the light, that, that is preventing that glow from, from coming to us from the center because as that stuff is swirling in, the light, you know, it's all glowing and some of it's going into the black hole and then the light from it can only go into the black hole. You, you reach a point where 
the glowing matter is falling in and all its light that should just be going in every direction bends around and goes into the black hole. So we're seeing the part where the black hole is swallowing light. It's removing light from the universe, right? Like this, these, this stuff is glowing and some of that glow is just being sucked into this black hole. I mean, it's not, it's, we shouldn't say it sucks. It's not like that. It's, it's being pulled in by the gravity of the black hole in the sense that the black hole is distorting space so much. It's like twisting, it's, it's twisting and, and, and compressing space and curving space so much that, that the, the light, when it tries to move away from the black hole, ends up curving around and going into it. Um, and so we see in this image, this dark bit in the center, not because there isn't stuff there, there is stuff there and there's stuff behind it as well, right? Like there's bright stuff behind the dark bit that we see, but that dark bit, it's a, it's a three-dimensional, you know, spherical region where all the light that, that tries to go anywhere near it goes into it into the center and it can't come out where we can see it. So it creates this thing that is referred to as a shadow. It's not a shadow of an object. Um, what it is, is where the light that should be reaching us gets sucked in and destroyed in the black hole. It gets swallowed up by the black hole and that light is like removed from the universe basically. And that's that's wild to me. I think it's I think it's amazing that we're seeing light destroyed. I mean, it's it's going somewhere. It's doing something. It's going into the black hole. It's not that it's gone. It's, it it contributes to the mass of the black hole ultimately. But from our perspective, that light is gone, and it will never come out again uh, until the you know billions and trillions of years from now when the black hole is evaporating or something you know um it's th but it's gone and and so there's all this glowing stuff right in the vicinity of that thing and there's something that's just swallowing it up in that region and that's what makes the shadow and i think that that's that's a really cool thing because this is this is like when we talk about a black hole we talk about something that has such gravity that that even light cannot escape right that's it's how people talk about black holes. The gravity is so strong, even light can't escape it. And we've never seen that happen before, but now we're seeing that happen. We're seeing light not being able to escape. And I just think that that is really, really cool.